and Mike are here at Larry's Giant Subs. Say hello. Ow. <laughs> Mike, do you have anything to say to the people? Hello. Go dogs. <laughs> Kelly and Mike are, I don't even know, they're like packing, organizing, folding, moving stuff in. And so I'm partially exhausted. And now we're on a dinner break. Dinner! This doesn't really look like a Philly cheesesteak, but. What did you get? Just trying to make a corn beef. <laughs> Chloe! Chloe! Where are you? Aww. Chloe, say hi. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no. Nah. Anyways, I'm 25 weeks and three days today, and I still have yet to buy any maternity clothes. And I'm making it a challenge for myself to just not buy any because I feel like there's a lot cuter and cheaper items besides like an essential pair of leggings. Ultimately, my issue with maternity clothes is that I'm just too short. I feel like I've done a pretty good job so far of styling my outfits, and I've just been buying a lot of bodycon dresses. And so, this is one of them. And I got this from Misguided, and I believe it was only $13 full price. And then with my student discount, which shout out to Unidays, um, it was a lot cheaper. I got it for like $9 or something like that. So yeah. And I paired it with some shoes that I got for $5 at Red Dress. There's the fit, my outfit of the day. And I surprisingly did my makeup. I also suck at doing eyeshadow, but I tried. <laughs> I wanna take you out Ooh, ooh, ooh Show you what I'm all about Ooh, ooh, ooh Make up for what we lost Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about everyone, so today's Monday and it was supposed to be the first day of classes for everybody but I guess it's a blessing that my professor is canceled. I am never opposed to a professor canceling classes, but they were away at conferences. So my official last first day of class is tomorrow. It hasn't really fully hit me yet that I'll be graduating in six months, but I'm excited. But yeah, I didn't really do anything today just because I've just been bumming around. Um, one of my littles came to visit me. So bang if you're watching this, hello and thank you for the Cane's food. Oh, delicious. Now I'm just getting ready to go to my sorority's bid day. Um, if you don't know much about Greek life, bid day is like the best day. It's like Christmas for us because we get new members and new sisters. And one of my littles, Laura, is a Gamma Chi and she hasn't spoken to us since like July. 28th not being able to speak to somebody for a really long time that you talk to every single day like sucks So it's gonna be like a really huge like homecoming for her And I'm really excited just because I was a Gamma Chi last year and I, just seeing her follow in my footsteps And like seeing her like running off the bus like I already know it's gonna be super emotional Also while I'm getting ready. I'm literally looking at our bidet from last year Glitter glitter everywhere. Oh my babes just in her McDonald's cup. Oh, yeah! I was literally boohoo crying, boohoo crying. Oh, they're so cute. my gluco test this morning this is literally like the earliest appointment I've ever had in my life <laughs> I don't know why it just seems so early but it does and also for this glucose test I couldn't drink past midnight and I have to chug down this really sugary drink apparently 
So we'll see how this goes. Pray for me. Hey everyone, so I just got done taking a drink and I chose an orange flavor. And it surprisingly wasn't that bad. Like everyone told me it's gonna be really gross. And from what I've seen from other vloggers, it's really disgusting, but it's actually pretty good. And I chugged that thing down in like one minute. So it really was not that bad. But now I am waiting to go see one of my doctors. And then I am gonna have to wait, I think an hour from the time that I took it to do the actual test. So it's just gonna be a lot of waiting and a lot of reading syllabuses on my phone, but I will keep y'all updated. So yeah, but really it wasn't that bad surprisingly. All right, everybody. So I just got um, the gluco test done. They withdrew three vials worth of blood um, and I should be getting my test scores back tomorrow or the next day after so i don't think it's going to take a really long time but um yeah this is just to check to see if i'm on the verge of getting diabetes or really anything else i think i don't know i'm i just know it has something to do with diabetes i really should look more and pay attention more but 8 a.m is just not the time for me to be awake but anyway they gave me this huge bag, I think the lady called it a mommy bag. It sounded like she said mommy, so I was really confused. But yeah, there's like a whole bunch of stuff in here. And I don't know what this is, but this looks really fancy and serious. Oh, there's the brain, a nutrition kit, interesting. Oh, cool, cool stuff. Ooh, breastfeeding. I was just kidding. This is, well, it says it's breastfeeding samples. Vitamin D for babies. Interesting. Yeah. I definitely have to go look through this. Now I am about to go to the store, go pick up some water because I am extremely thirsty. So, hopefully I'll go as well. Hello. So today is my birthday and I am turning 22 today. Um, I haven't really done much besides go to class because I had two classes in the afternoon. Um, and I went and used my Starbucks reward card or my free birthday gift. Um, and I definitely broke a rule and got a green tea frappuccino, which pretty sure has dairy in it. But whatever, it's my birthday. I'm just going to let that one slide. But um, yeah, that's just the extent of my birthday so far. I haven't really planned anything. But thank you if you've texted me and blown up my phone. Um, I haven't texted everybody back or replied to anyone really. Um, but just know that I appreciate you and I will reply to you in due time. So since I didn't do anything for my birthday, I decided to get my nails done. And all the nail ladies, they always ask me the same question every single time I go in there. And they're like, where are you from? What are you? And now they've all been like, how far along are you? Because it's like obvious that I am, you know, getting bigger. And I just think it's really funny because they like all were like giving me advice on not to eat too much food. <laughs> Because they all ate a whole bunch of food and this one lady gained like 40 pounds and I just thought it was really funny But anyway, I'm about to go grocery shopping. Hopefully I find some good recipes and then maybe I'll get creative with my grocery shopping Y'all I'm trying really hard to be healthy. Yeah, I got some Chobani some microwavable jasmine rice because I'm lazy and I also don't have a rice cooker and then I got broccoli and some salmon and I also got a whole bunch of tea because it was on sale so yeah and some strawberries So I'm headed off to lunch with my friend Michael um, and I finally got a good pair of leggings, some maternity leggings from Target and I really like these just because they like provide support for the bump and they have a little back support crisscrossing which is pretty cool and it's really helpful especially because my back's been hurting. Um, but yeah, 
I like these so far. I give them a 10 out of 10. I feel like I'll probably wear them a lot, especially in the fall when I get a little bit bigger. They definitely have room for growth, so that's good. I just wanted to mention these in case anybody else wanted to get some input from Target leggings. Also, I like folded them at the bottom just because they're so long and nobody can really tell, so that's good. back from my birthday dinner in Atlanta and I felt like I really just needed to share my thoughts from what I've learned this past week. I could sit here and show you guys like all of the great things that happened during this week but I created this channel to be as real as possible just because not everything goes smoothly. It doesn't go how you want it to every single second realistically even during your birthday week or your birthday like things don't always go as you want. I have noticed that I'm starting to put a lot more value into the friendships and relationships that I have with people just because I want to make sure that Aiden has the best influences and like just genuinely good loyal people that he can look up to and I pay attention to very little things on my birthday um, just because I feel like if we're that good of friends or if you're good friends with anyone just like generally speaking if you're good friends with somebody then you will remember their birthday and I don't expect a present I don't expect gifts I don't want anything like that but a simple text message just acknowledging that you remember that means a lot to me I feel like being pregnant in college does force you to kind of think of these things because I, I've, the people that I've talked to who's gone through this before, they tell you that people will be there or people will say that they're going to be there for you and then when the baby gets here, they're nowhere to be found and they're nowhere to be seen. And so I'm trying to like prepare myself for that now just because I don't expect anything from anybody. But when it does come to my close friends, then that's where I do have some standards and I'm like, hey, like, if we're supposed to be really good friends and I am here and I will do anything and everything for you on your birthday or just making sure that, like, I am doing the minimum at least, then I feel like I should be able to count on you in doing the same. If you do have a friend that is pregnant in college, just know that this is a really vulnerable time for us and that we, I guess, I don't know if she might be too, but it's a vulnerable time and you should definitely just try to be there as much as possible for her just because we're making a lot of sacrifices and it's hard when you feel like you're doing it by yourself and that you have to go at it alone. I did want to acknowledge it on this channel just because I feel like if another girl who's pregnant in college is watching this, then know that it's normal and it's okay for you to be upset just because our lives are changing. I feel like a lot of the time people are so quick to critique. Essentially, just know that it's okay if, you know, you're upset about it and just it's all part of the acceptance process that, you know, we can't just live our lives the same. And greater things are going to come 
this is just the stuff that I've learned this past week and I felt like it was good to share because like I said I wanted to be real on this channel I don't want to sit here and be like oh my birthday was absolutely amazing when it wasn't I feel like this is just a period of immense learning that I have to do and I still have a long way to go but I'm getting there